welcome back. Uh, this is Mac again uh, with Girish and Carmen. Today again, we are going to talk about key strategies to endure in business and life. Uh, last time we spoke about vision and then we spoke about planning. Uh, but we also discussed something related to planning that uh, do we need to be rigid in our plans or can we be flexible in, in the planning? And I think in current times, flexibility is the word. Uh, and this is something that personally I grapple with because I plan a lot but I'm not at all flexible in my planning. I'm extremely rigid. So this is something that I'm actually wanting to discuss with uh, and talk with Girish and Carmen about how do they bring in flexibility in their sporting careers, uh, especially in Ironman or mountaineering. So uh, let's start with Girish. Hey, thanks, Mac. Thanks, Carmen. Flexibility, I, think, I, think, I don't think so. there is any plan which, which uh, cannot be flexible, right? So I think we all are going through this whole unprecedented challenge of COVID. I think who planned for this, right? Uh, one fine day, you know, I, I think we were lucky that we could finish our race uh, on March 7th and come back from New Zealand. And, and, and we know that, you know, when we reach back home uh, in the next four days, New Zealand was locked down. And, and you know, when we, when we did that life-changing race, uh, Iron Man, and when Mike, the, the celebrity commentator of Iron Man, you know, who, who just, you know, people die to listen from his voice that, you know, you are an Iron Man, you know, and, you know, who knew that this is going to happen? So, so, so flexibility is key. And, you know, without flexible, without being flexible, I don't think so you can ever achieve any goal or any plan. So, so for me, I think being flexible is, is, is a key to success. Um, and, 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 and maybe that, you know, your environment forces you to be flexible or, you know, any, any small element forces you to be flexible. And like, uh, you know, our friend Carmen said last time, you know, being kind, you know, all, all you know, to bring in kindness, uh, you need to be flexible. So, you know, you need to take two day break, which was not planned, but you need to take that two day break because your body told you that, you know, you can't push it further. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's how it is. So, so in, in, you know, I have to, I have to tell you this, uh, when I was training for my Ironman, uh, we had this rigid uh, training plan for six months, uh, you know, Tuesdays, you need to swim. Wednesdays you need to cycle, Thursdays you need to do a cycle and a run and you know so on and so forth. So you know and 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 you always feel that you know you need to just follow that and and one one fine day uh, here comes a, a very important travel uh, and, and you need to go to say Delhi or wherever the work takes you and, and and finish. So you look out for a hotel which has got a swimming pool so that you can swim uh, but least that you know that that swimming pool is more of a uh, you know, um, a, a place where all the kids are splashing water. So, you know, all that you can do is you can't, you can't do anything about it. So, and, and there is no point in getting worked up saying that you missed your training plan. So, you know, all that you need to tell yourself is that I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to go and back and see on weekends, how can I incorporate this? So these are some small things, you know, and, and when you plan for everything uh, on the race day, something else happens, right? Uh, you have a flat tire uh, or, you know, you know, your, your, you're, or you know you're putting your wetsuit and and your your zip just comes out uh, you know your, your, you know you know anything can happen right so so you need to be very flexible you need to be you need to plan for everything that can go wrong and and you need to be very clear that your plan is not is going to fail and you need to replan replan and replan and and that's the success so so one needs to be very flexible as far as planning is concerned so, uh, uh, thanks, Girish. I think, yeah, you are right. Uh, and an interesting example that you're putting on your wetsuit and your zipper comes off. And I don't know what you do in that situation, or I don't want to know. But uh, I'm sure you had a plan B to take care of that. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 like I said, I'm, I'm a little rigid on going off plan. But recently I watched, and I wanted to bring in this element before I bring in Carmen to speak about her experience, is I just completed watching Last Dance, uh, the NBA special for Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls. And uh, uh, they plan to the T, as in they have plans for if something goes wrong to this plan, what's the next plan and the next plan. So, And in, in basketball, uh, uh, we all know that last few seconds, even a tight game are very, very crucial. And last few seconds are one second and one and a half seconds, not one minute or, or 10 seconds. It's, it's very, very narrow and very tight. And they have a play which they call it. So what is the strategy or what is the plan if we, if we have to dunk at the point of one second or two seconds? So they have plays of who is going to dribble the ball, who's going to give it to whom and who's going to hoop. And that's brilliant. So I think uh, while uh, having plans to plans or backup plans can be a way of being flexible, isn't it? 
so i think Absolutely. for me i am looking at that as uh, a way of planning a little more so i am flexible in following a plan but it was on the plan so i am still doing what i want to do so absolutely in fact you know uh, this whole iron man there's so there's so many stories i i'm telling you this was a first time life changing experience so we had planned everything we were four of us uh, going from bombay so there was a friend of mine uh, who was like you makra you know so he started planning six months back and he had planned everything we'll hire a car from auckland uh, you know we go to topo and and just you know and and this whole covid thing started in china and singapore uh, much before right in feb, by feb end so right. moment this started uh, this friend of mine started telling me that you know girish I, i i don't think so it's safe to travel over singapore so i said no 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 you must come you must come and you know uh, like the luck had it you know he, he he decided to opt out you know because he had some issues at work and so so i didn't want to drive alone uh, you know so i had no no transport to go from auckland to topo all the buses were booked all the flights were booked uh, you know so so i had to spend a huge amount of money to hire a taxi but but you cannot be you know getting worked up with that you know and, and there are a lot of people around you mind you will play with your mind saying no oh, you you spent 100 dollars to do i said you know when you have spent so much to to reach here you know not the money but you have trained for 10 years i think this 100 dollars is nothing so you need to just go with that the whole thing and and i remember you know swimming was my strength as you said um, and and it was a lake swim uh, and i was looking forward to the swim and you know in in the pool i was doing giving a timing of 120 125 so i wanted to do it 5 minutes better uh, and my coach had planned that i will finish the race in 15 hours if nothing went as per plan so my swim i took 133 which was i was so disappointed because something happened at the start somebody clinged on to me because it's a bar start and i had not slept for 3 days Uh, so i didn't push myself on the bike but you know the whole thing was the final vision and the goal that you know i need i will not uh, you know i need to cross that finish line smiling uh, you know at at before 17 hours and and i did it in 16 hours one hour probably later than what i planned but 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 did it very nicely and i was smiling all the way there was no cramps there was nothing uh, and you know and could get that try color uh, with me and and cross the finish line so so that's i think i think one has to learn to be flexible and one has to learn to face anything i think our next topic is very interesting and i don't want to preempt it but uh, i think that's all about planning yeah so thank you thanks lolly girish just come in yeah wow well, oh, it's inspiring stories and it it reminds me of the fact that i used to be very rigid uh, whatever didn't go according to my plan was the end of the world uh, yet yeah i guess sports really really shifted something in me and and even if the hyper achiever was still there was was learning that i cannot have control over everything uh and as we see what's happening in the world every day actually we can't have control we um i i love when i work with my clients i say i want to learn to have control over us like well you are always going to be disappointed because you can't have control over everything um though we can have control to a large extent upon one thing the way we adapt and the way we respond to whatever is going on and what i love about sports and what girish also shared is it, it's one it's important to have a vision it's important to have a plan it's important to have plan b c d e f though you cannot really plan for absolutely everything yep. you can't even imagine what can happen right um i think what is really important is to keep in mind the fact that you train so much you plan so much you have your vision that you will find the way to move forward whatever is going to happen and this for me was was really a big learning and and moving forward and uh in terms of sports was so interesting when i when i went on mont blanc um i i was feeling pretty fit so i i have evolved a lot from my 200 meters running i i was running now i was almost ready for a marathon for my first marathon and then i was training in my building i was um, training on the stairs because you need to have stairs and i planned the equipment i and i planned everything and then uh, the first thing that didn't go according to the plan was when we got to the last point before the final ascent was very 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 steep 
and I was and I knew Mac and Girish probably also you've seen my picture with that huge backpack and everything and I didn't plan that that's going to be heavy going like this um, and I was totally totally panicking after sleeping for a while I could rest and then was the final ascent and I was totally tired then the first instinct was frustration. I was like, I'm fit, I'm training for a marathon, I've been training for this, I've been planning for this for so long. Why is what's happening? And then I remembered what a friend told me. When you are so tired, count your steps from one to ten or one to twenty. And I've been counting my steps in all the languages I knew just to be able to keep myself <laughs> sane and keep on moving. So this was for me adapting to what was there because I was never there. I didn't know how my body is behaving above 4,000 meters. Um, I thought that I'm fit and I, and I made it, yet I had very much to, to adapt. And this was also another learning is that taking one step at a time because we might plan, we might see the vision, but when we look so far ahead, it's like, wow, that's, that's too far. How am I going to make it? But if I have those steps, now I have to make only 20 steps and then I can stop for 10 seconds and then I make another 20 steps. That's so important. So this, this is being flexible. And, and now I remember another flexible moment. Um, the last marathon that I ran, I, I, I'm, as I said, I ran it for for pleasure more but uh, this time I was running for a charity and I felt a lot of pressure because I was raising money for them and it was an important cause for me and they really wanted to finish yet I was uh, feeling some pain in my foot and I thought that I'm gonna have a tendonitis I had it a few months before and it was a week before the marathon I said well what can I do I can't stop really if I stop now I, I just need to I don't know. And and then finally my wise voice came and said, well, adapt. And that was, I, I instead of running, I did cycling because was still cardio, was still using the muscles, not the same muscles, but still I was doing something active. So I've been cycling instead of running, saving my foot and saying, well, for sure, if something happens, it will happen during the race and not before, just before the race. And again, it's being flexible. And if I wouldn't have been flexible, I wouldn't have been able to move forward. And the same happened in, in everything almost I do in business because I try to be rigid and follow the plan. And when things were not going right, I was like, oh, and my whole energy was drained by me being frustrated because things are not going according to the plan. But if I tap into... I planned for so long, I trained for so long, I know what I'm doing. Self-trust is one important thing. Uh, Self-trust, and again, we come back to kindness, being kind, and instead of saying, oh, how can you be so weak now? But it's like, you know, actually you are not weak. It takes a lot of strength to go around. Uh, and I, I love a quote that Lao Tzu was, um, was writing long time ago, and he said, stand still like a mountain, and flow like a river so i find this is very important the mountain is the plan and, and your strength and flowing like a river is the flexibility that we all need to have to reach what we want to reach interesting very nice so two things you know makran reward reminds me when Kamin said this is that you know in whether it is uh, whether it is a sport or whether it is any endurance event or whether it is corporate life I think, you know, planning is in our control, uh, but, but what happens to it is not in our control. So, so again, what is in our control is to adapt and to be flexible, right? And, and the next thing is very important, which, uh, which every coach, good coach says is that trust your plan, trust your training, you know? So, so, you know, so I remember I was so anxious before the race and my coach was there with me and he said, I said, I'll tell you only one thing, trust your training. You know, you have trained, you have not missed a single training, you know? So, so, so training will take you out. So, so that's very, very interesting. Yeah. Yes, Mac. Lovely. I, I, it's amazing. I think, I think uh, the uh, superb examples by both of you. And I think, like I said, this, this one was where I was going to soak in and learn. 
and uh, uh, lovely. I think the quote which you spoke about Lao Tzu, mountain and river. I think I think that's yeah. my biggest takeaway that uh, I need. I I can't just be a mountain personally. Everybody of us can also be a river. Um, a river flows. So lovely. Absolutely. So thank you very much for joining in. Uh, uh, looking forward to the next one. Uh, stay healthy. Stay safe. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you.